All right, today we're hitting glutes, and as much as you don't want to hear another man tell you how to flex your butt cheeks, you need help, so let's get after it. I can't overstate how important it is to develop those glutes. They're involved in everything from deadlifts to squats to walking lunges, even lifts you don't think about, like bent over rows. Anytime you hinge those hips, those glutes are involved. If they're underdeveloped, you're going to pay the price, which usually means your form's going to go to shit. Now, a good test is throw a 45-pound bar on your back, squat down, and if that's not your happy place and you can't sit there and make your kids sack lunches, then they're not a strength. They're a weakness. I'm not saying your eventual goal should be to travel the world and use those cheeks to crack walnuts on stage, but they definitely should be a priority. I know for me personally, every once in a while, I'll throw an entire day that's just exclusively glutes. Yeah, it screws up my whole training routine, but I know in the long run, it's worth it. Think about it this way. Say you're minding your own business, just taking a stroll through an alley, and out of nowhere, a bunch of dudes jump you. Wouldn't it be nice to know that you don't have to stress? You can just look at them and say, good luck, I can hold this flex all day. All right, we're starting out with a dumbbell variation because when people say, you know, I can't do that lift because after a while it jumps into my back, it usually isn't a lower back issue. Usually what it is, is those glutes aren't strong enough to maintain that form throughout the entire lift, starts to break down, goes into that lower back. So we're gonna tack that head on by doing a hybrid between a good morning and a squat. So the way you're gonna set this up is have that dumbbell nice and high, back straight, feet set up like a sumo squat, and your entire body is going to work in conjunction. So as you start to tilt forward, you're going to drive back at a 45 degree angle with those glutes. Those knees are going to drive out. And then once you get to the bottom, you don't just sit there and try to lean back. You're going to use those glutes, engage them and flex. And that's what's going to bring you up. So if you're able to make your own makeshift landmine setup at home, you got a ton of options. You could do single leg stiffs, you got kneeling donkey kicks, which I'm not gonna show you the kneeling variation because I can already see the complaints in the comments. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I will gladly let my wife stick a finger up my ass, but I will not kneel for an exercise. So instead, I'll show you the standing version. And as long as you have something to help stabilize you, it works even better. So the way you're gonna set this up is center a bench perpendicular to that landmine about a foot away. And then from there, it's just about bending that knee, putting that bar right above that calf and leaning slightly forward to stabilize yourself on the bench. Don't be surprised if that glute on the off leg hurts just as bad as the one you're working because that stabilizing leg is gonna hurt like a bitch. So it seemed like a lot of people like that reverse lunge variation. I showed a couple of videos ago where you have a single dumbbell, you're holding on the rack. If you haven't seen, I'll link to it above. But if you weren't born with the most gifted coordination, probably not the exercise for you. On the other hand, this landmine version is a better option because you can use that landmine to help you balance. That way you can focus on actually putting pressure on that glute instead of just trying not to fall on your ass. The other benefit is the landmine itself is going to promote good form. So as you're going to that negative, it's going to drive all that pressure onto your working side. As you're coming up, it's going to force you to rotate over top of that glute. And if all else fails, take it back to basics. Throw some weight on that squat bar and set up for low bar squats and hold the bottom for three, five seconds, whatever you can take. You know you're on the right track when you're sitting at the bottom and it feels like it does not all leg press and you could just kick somebody across the room. couple of quick things. I've had people ask about the ring I wear, so I'll link that below. Also, if you're crazy enough to take the 30-day challenge, good luck. I'll also link that below. And most importantly, if you haven't seen it yet, here's another video on glutes. Also, just another one of my favorites. Make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, and get after it, get growing. Talk to you soon.